Hey, I'm Tyler Bronski. You're watching my YouTube channel where I'm sitting down with recognizable faces in entertainment and the digital space. Today's guest is a celebrity chef that's been cooking professionally for over 40 plus years. He owns four restaurants across Toronto. He's been a competitor on shows such as Iron Chef America, Top Chef Masters. He's been on the flip side as well as a judge on Food Network's Chop Canada and Lifetime's Master Chef Asia. And lately he can add social media personality to his resume filming videos with his sons jed kai and levi in their youtube videos the chef suser lee chef lee thanks for the time i appreciate it oh you're welcome i'm glad uh, you think of me thanks yeah well it's a pleasure to have you on and you know you have such an extensive uh, career and you know we don't have time to get into all of that today but really just want to focus on these uh videos you've been doing with your son jed um, on youtube and tiktok he's kind of been giving you a challenge of giving you fast food items and making you try to turn them gourmet. You guys have done numerous ones with Shake Shack, Chipotle, Domino's. You guys did, uh, did one on TikTok, Jack in the Box. For you, just broad picture, doing these videos with your son, what does that mean to you? What is that like for you? Well, you know, um, I definitely, I got to know him better uh, because uh, he's a teenage, when he was younger, he always been very quiet. It's very hard to get to know him. Uh, now it's sort of that, uh, you know, the word is his creativity and also he's expressing, uh, you know, his expertise. And I'm very overwhelmed and, and really, uh, you know, really appreciate how much he grown as a person. And also like, you know, just where it is, it's like keep saying, where is it coming from this stuff, you know? So uh, yeah, very grateful. Well, I mean, like all, all your sons really are succeeding well in the content creation space. And you know, your son Levi's a musician, but really all of them have just done so well on social media. What impresses you most about their creativity? I think uh, the word is, uh, you know, a lot of people say, you know, oh, you know, social media is so easy to make money and so easy, easy job. But, you know, uh, you know, spending time with them, they work all the time because it's like having a coffee first thing in the morning and then they have a schedule with his uh you know his workout his eating time everything is scheduled because they needed to produce you have to think ahead right the word is and it become sort of a, it, it, it's like a one-man person to make uh, a movie so think about all that you know editing uh, planning where location uh concept you know all this thing is really, um, you know, uh, it's a lot of hard work, especially when you become good. And, and, and definitely, I learned uh, a lot from them. Uh, you know, sometimes I see them, oh, they're just in a computer. Oh, and then they would say, you know, I just recently with Levi. And then she said, Dad, I cannot focus when you ask me something. I said, oh, he's working. So, you know, those, those are really good, uh, you know, good things to learn about their new generation of uh, hard work. The certain kind of hard work I never thought about. Yeah, it's funny you bring it up. It's like these content creators, they're almost like freelancers in a way. You're just as good as your last video and you really just need to constantly keep producing if you want to make money. It's, it's your career at the end of the day. So it's funny kind of you bring yeah. that up. Agree. I mean, you mentioned how... Um, this has kind of been like a bonding experience for you and Jet. Yeah, you know, Jet is a, a, a very, you know, he has his brand called Mute, right? You know that Mute comes from because he's so quiet. I think that is the uh, name it actually came from his personality. And, you know, he he's more uh, very close with his mom. Uh, you know, he always asks mom certain kind of like business questions, numbers and you know, creating business and all that. She's, you know, he, since he was young, he's very close with her. So I did not really get to know him about about him in the creativity, uh, in terms of food, uh, in terms of certain things he asked about people, culture. So I kind of like, you know, get involved with that side of his life. And that's what it did really uh, become very organic and it grows in a different direction from a different relationship from his mom uh, than from me, from my side. Absolutely. Um, it's, it's fun to see your guys' dynamic. I gotta say, he is a little bit of a tough critic on you sometimes. So I'm like, sometimes I gotta give, I'm like, give me a six or seven out of 10. I'm like, 
I, I said this is a hard work. You gotta give him at least a, a 10 out of 10 for effort. He, he's the tough judge, but he does no food. You know, uh, I eat with him uh, a lot. And every time, uh, you know, he's very diverse of opening up himself to try different things. And sometimes I question him, right? What is missing, do you think? He gets the right answer. Every time I said, I get so impressed. I said, I look at him. Wow, okay. Now we. We, we can work together very well. So, you know, it gave me a lot of confidence. I was like, well, I do remember seeing a video he did. Um, He was like, he was cooking for you and having you judge his food. And you were, you know, he, he was saying he's not much of a chef, but you said you were impressed with, I guess, I think it was ramen he made for you or something along those lines. Um, Oh yeah, yeah. it was the ramen that he put the like some butter. It was very good. I said to him, you know, especially, you know, when that, that, that ramen, if I had a couple of drinks the night before, the next day you reheat it, it still tastes amazing. Yeah, you wouldn't know the difference. There you go. Just need a couple <laughs> of sake drinks, just, you know, whatever. So I was going to ask you specifically about the videos. We'll put you in one of those scenarios, say the Chipotle episode where um, he gave you a Chipotle burrito bowl and your thought is to make a Mexican pie and a horchata. It might be dumb to ask a guy that's been cooking professionally for 40 plus years, but when he hands you that food what are the thoughts that are going through your head no i, I always love those challenge uh because it really opened my mind in a very different direction creativity is creativity it doesn't matter it has to be gourmet and non-gourmet food is food so you know when you have a concept or challenge it means you have to think that concept to make it work and i think that is something uh, i love doing with him because he does really bring something really like challenging uh, for me to do so I'm excited every time when he puts something to me, actually. Very, actually, very, very excited. What's been the toughest one so far that you can recall? Uh, so far, no. So far, None of them. Be <laughs> adaptable uh, with him, with his ideas. Uh, you know, so far, it's so good, you know? I, I keep telling him, bring it on. Just what do you got? Got to keep keep, keep on going, you know? All right, we're wrapping up some um, rapid fire questions for you. and. It's kind of along those lines. I know um, I mentioned at the top how you're a, a judge on F Food Network's uh, Chop Canada. Uh, I guess before I preface this question, when they open up the basket, they got the four random ingredients. Are the judges involved beforehand of choosing what um, ingredients are in the basket or are you guys kind of blindsided as well? No, it is uh, it's done by uh, 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 people and the Food Network to done by a culinary team to do research. Uh, no, the judge is also surprised by it too. Let's make a fake scenario. You, all three of your sons have to go through a fake chop uh, challenge. What four ingredients would you put in a basket? Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that's a good one. I think I would put, uh, you know, I have one to put some Asian ingredient that they're familiar, like even uh, rice noodle. Uh, also, it could be, uh, I think for North American, uh, you know, for protein, I would put some red meat. Um, also, maybe some uh, Asian uh, spices. Uh, what kind? You know, you got me off card. But those are the few things I would. Uh, you know, of course, you have a pantry. If they have to cook, they have to find their own way. But I think you know what I think it would be nice to throw in something like, um, you know, something really odd, like you know, beers, beers, or something like that. So they have to come and come up with something. So, you know, they're pretty good cooks, all of that. You know, Jet, Jet is really definitely is learning a lot. Well, I kind of want to see this video. So in a way, I'm trying to manifest it by asking that question. So I think that'd be an interesting video idea. See all three of them cool. compete and, you know, you give them the final verdict. <laughs> Biggest name celebrity you would say you've cooked for? I've seen the pictures with Drake before. Um, I guess who would you say uh, name-wise is uh, one of the biggest uh, name celebrities you've cooked for? You know, I'm so I'm so bad with uh, movie stars. Sometimes people, like my staff, say, "Oh, chef, there's a movie star sitting over there." I said, "Oh, really?" And then I just move on. You know, it's just it's just I don't have that kind of like you know fan uh, being a fan for some movie star. To be honest with you, so um, yeah, I cook for the cast for Modern Family, um, Quincy Jones, Prince. Uh, Huh? Elton John. <laughs> My wife was telling me I don't even remember doing all of that. Oh, uh, Chow Yun Fat. Yes, when he was in town. That's quite a list. That's quite a, that's a good answer, honestly. Uh, last one for you. And you can choose multiple names. I won't make you just choose one name, but say it's your birthday dinner. 
which Iron Chef or chefs are cooking for your birthday dinner? Oh, I would get my son to cook for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I will ask them to make one dish, which they have. I think they have tried one time. I think Kai was doing something like that. But you know, I think you know, I think would be much more the word joyful for someone you know close to your family. Or can you guys make a dish, even a simple, to put something together, and see where that where, where's the effort, right? The word is. So you know, I would definitely ask my uh, my son to cook for me. The chef Suter Lee, you can check out his collaborations with his son uh, Jed, uh, Kai, and Levi, and. Uh, their YouTube and TikTok videos, we'll put a link in the description for you guys to check it out. So Chef Lee, thanks for the time, appreciate it. Thank you so much.